Hey there and welcome back to another video. Now, today I have a lot of news for you because I could not upload anything the last few days because I was gone. But now I'm back and I'm gonna bring you all the news now. So, first of all, you see why I'm positioned here is there's the Aurora, there's the life pod, and right down here is a new biome called the Crag Field. I hope I pronounced that right. Um, so if we just let it load, you can see there's a lot of spiky stuff going on, and also a lot of bone sharks. Yeah, okay. And a reef back. So yeah, this is basically the crack field. So here you can find limestone acrops, uh, some lithium, quartz, and some metal, and of course fishes and stuff. And that just looks amazing. Okay. So I have just turned off the HUD and we are right under the Grand Reef right now. So there's the floating island and this is the crack field. So um, as you can see, it's like just amazing amount of rocks and stuff. And there's like a small spiral formation here, which I really like. Looks amazing. So yeah, this is basically the crack field, which would be an awesome base location, to be honest. If you now enter the chamber of the secondary research facility, you will get some new, well, not new messages, but a new voiceover which was added. So let's see if we can get it to trigger. Should trigger now. This alien structure appears to have collapsed to the sea floor. Cause unknown. Computing theories. So I really like when they are like adding voiceovers for messages you get. It just adds a little touch to the game itself, which is amazing. Now, in the facility itself, there were Detecting a few updates. An alien broadcast. Linguistic analysis reads, caution, hazardous materials and life forms contained within. All right, as it looks like there's a lot of new stuff here. Interior walls in this section are substantially reinforced, indicating the designers were seeking either to keep something out or contain it within. Whatever their intention, it clearly failed. Okay, well that was interesting. Now let's just insert the artifact. Signal <clears throat> 4, alien thermal plant added. So there's a new message as well. Now in here we have a crab squid egg, which is the placeholder for a sea dragon leviathan egg. Um, this will be in here, so that's the egg that the mother tried to get when she destroyed the facility. Um, there's also a few like butterfly cases with some skeletons over here. And we have a ghost ray, a rabbit ray, a manta ray, a spade fish, a hoverfish and a lava larva and I know for sure that the ghost ray is gonna be changed but I don't know about the others so yeah don't expect them to stay like this now further down here we have this data terminal with the damage report And before we continue, I want to do a self-scan. So if we do this. Performing self-scan. Vital signs normal. Detecting trace amounts of foreign bacteria. Continuing to monitor. So this is the infection stage 0.1, I think. So if we do infect the radius 1, 0.2, let's see if something different happens. No, maybe 0.3. Performing self-scan. Foreign bacteria counters reached statistically significant levels. No adverse effects detected. Be vigilant for symptoms. So there's the difference. Now 0.4 should not change anything as far as I'm aware. 0.5 does though. Performing self-scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed, detecting skin irritation and immune system response. Further data required to identify bacterial strain. 0.6 shouldn't do anything. 
but 0 0.7. Performing self scan. The bacterial infection in your system has progressed. Okay, that is the you same as we just heard, so let's go to 0 0.8. And 0 0.9. Performing self scan. Bacterial infection has spread to the skin and pulmonary system. It is imperative you find a way to neutralize the infection. So I think normally you would now get the sequence which reveals that you are infected. And if we do infect one. One, it should now say the same or nothing. Exactly. There we go. Now we are cured and should say normal. Performing self scan. Vital signs normal. No remaining sign of bacterial infection. That's all the messages you get from scanning yourself. Now, in here, we now have a lot of warper parts. Residual biological evidence suggests that indigenous life forms were brought to this location and subjected to intensive gene manipulation. Thanks. So for example, we have a hand here and uh, uh, ribs, I think. We have some organs in here. Another hand and whatever this is. Some more ribs, some more organs. And I think that's a head. But without the face and here we have the face and the head so yeah pretty scary stuff now we now also have this flickering light on the warper which makes it even scary in my opinion and I'm not even sure if that's intended but if it is amazing job after we grab this data, data terminal pertaining to the bacterium is being downloaded caution detecting atypical fluctuations in blood plasma proteins a self-scan is strongly advised. Now, I'm pretty sure you should not see the infection on your skin yet. Um, that's probably just a bug. But if you self-scan, if you do a self-scan now, it should now do the infection reveal sequence, which did not trigger because we just did that with commands. But this is the way you normally get the sequence. All fragments that don't have a specific model like the Seamoth or the Sea Glide or for example the propulsion cannon now spawn with the model of a data box but um, for some reason I wasn't able to find any fragments in this world so uh, you're just gonna have to believe me on this one now this is a video of a developer showcasing a new feature which might soon be coming to the game it's about a shield for the Cyclops, so let's have a look at it, shall we? So as you can see, there's like triangles popping up, which I guess should resemble a shield, which is gonna protect you from Leviathans and stuff. And together with the new fire mechanic, this is gonna be awesome. So you see the HUD was improved, there's like um, some arrows for maybe changing speed, I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can also see like a Cyclops health meter and there's like something hovering right next to the bridge it's amazing and I feel like the Cyclops is gonna get a huge upgrade soon another developer recently tweeted something about a destroyed version of the submarine and this is the picture which was attached to it and now you might be asking, yeah, it looks cool and all, but why should there be a destroyed version of the Cyclops? Well, this is gonna be left over after your Cyclops explodes, yes, explodes, because with the new fire mechanic, when you get a fire on your Cyclops, it has the probability of exploding and then sinking as this wreck afterwards. And when you're still in the Cyclops, it's gonna be an instant death, but if you get out of it in time, you can go back and get your resources. So I like that because you're not going to lose everything just because a stupid sea dragon destroys the Cyclops. Let's say you're just casually flying along on your constructor, but want to organize your inventory. So what you do is open your PDA, just use something and drop it 
right in your hotbar. Yes, drag and drop is now in the game, which I absolutely love. And yeah, that's just a small little feature, but it definitely helps a lot.